My name is Chris Gersh and I am the director of Alpha Health Products. We provide functional fats. When we talk about omega-3 corrective at Alpha, we bear in mind the fact that in North America we're eating way too much omega-6 fat and not nearly enough omega-3. The problem with that is that the omega-6 fats create inflammatory molecules in the body. The omega-3 fats create anti-inflammatory molecules and we need to have a balance in order not to have chronic inflammation. So when you have an oil that is twice as much omega-3 as omega-6, that's a corrective oil. If you put that oil into your diet on a regular basis, you're going to correct some of that imbalance. And the more of the omega-3 corrective oil you get in, the better off you're going to be because eventually we're trying to hit a one-to-one -one ratio between omega-3 and omega-6 fats. Alpha's Organic Camelina Oil is an oil that I am a big fan of. It is a vegan, shelf-stable omega-3 oil that has twice as much omega-3 as omega-6, which means that it's omega-3 corrective. And the way we're eating in our North American diet, we need to bring the omega-6 fats down, we need to bring the omega-3 fats up, and camelina is an excellent way to do that. It has a more democratic taste than flax, and again, it's shelf-stable, so really easy to use in, in salads, and in dressings, and pestos, and uh, as drizzles and soups. Love it. Alpha's Organic Camelina Oil is great in salads. I make my own salad dressing out of that. I've made it for about 40 years and I'm still not tired of it. It's just delicious. Uh, we use the Alpha Camelina Oil for dressings. We use it in pestos. We use it for dips. I've made mayonnaise out of it. Uh, I use it for drizzling in soups. I actually will take herbs and, and uh, saturate the herbs in the oil so I have an herb oil and then I use that. It's delightful. Camelina is different than flax oil for a couple of reasons. Uh, one of them is that uh, camelina is a shelf-stable oil. Uh, flax has a protein in it that makes it go bitter over time, and if you don't keep it in the fridge, you accelerate that process. So there's a, a difference there. Uh, flax oil does have a little more omega-3 than camelina, so we still like flax oil. It's just a little more particular flavor uh, than camelina, and really what you want to do is find the one that you like best and, and use that one or mix them, blend them together, that works. For people who really don't like that strong flax flavor, we, we characterize camelina as a more democratic flavor. It still has a flavor, but it's one that more people seem to like. So if you really don't like that strong flax flavor, give camelina a try, see how you like it.